Now what? Do I did I get a new weapon? Yeah. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> huh. uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. I don't get it. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. No, you did it. Lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition!
at the right place gotta be it's the only base big enough with security contracted out to world marshal all right i'm headed in See that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site, because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. <laughs> Raiden, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Okay, you're telling me not to worry about the soldiers. Soldiers. The only way to worry about the soldiers. Oh, my God. 
Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Raiden, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? Wow, righty, I didn't know you could do that. The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great-isms. 
Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message.
little bastard I don't have time for this oh you've 
gotta be kidding me! Let's go! The hell are you thinking? Ah! <laughs> Playing college ball, you know. That's a cushy Ivy League school. What the fuck? Is that greed? <laughs> Ooh, metal out. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I can break the president in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What the hell are you? Why don't you stick around and find out? Oh, what? Okay. Man to man, I can't be beat. Come on. One day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act, 
for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers! And chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! So, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. <laughs> I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight, and steal, and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life! And now, I'll take yours. Starting to see things my way yet.
stop and they like actually stop. Save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck.
sword was a tool of justice. Not used in anger. Not used for vengeance. But now... Now I'm not so sure. And besides... This isn't my sword. Come on! You know what? Fuck this war! Like it was... Yeah. Uh. 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 Uh
Your dream dies with you. Oh. oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution. As an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Oh, oh. Worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated. Unbelievable. In After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> <huh? No>. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. 
Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? Oh. Oh. Alert. Alert. Release in there. This is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know? is a hero. Hmm. Well, that was pretty cool. I liked it. Looking down on the cars on the highway. Stream of time. Mm. Wonder what's gonna happen after the credits. Looking down on the burgeoning city, the skyscrapers rise. Even men with the greatest intentions stop believing their own. So for now, I am going to just quit after whatever I see after the credits.
Now that I think about it, Sunny's too intelligent for her age. Too good for her own kind, man. That's weird. But then, kids could have dreams. Doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear World Marshal's looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Now, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> your freelancer? I've got my own war to fight. A nomad. Not bad, not bad. 